how to use Google Sites to create a website. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Sites to create a high quality professional website for free. So let's get into it. First of all, what you guys need to do is you're going to go to sites.google.com and it will take you right here to this platform. If you cannot access it this way, you can go to your Google Drive, click on new, then you're going to click on more and you will get Google Sites. Google Sites is provided by Google and is a website builder that is for free and you can sign up really easily with your Google account. So if you have Google account, you can access Google Sites and create your own landing pages and website very easily. Using Google Site is actually really easy. So once you get to Google Sites, this is where you will land. You can see we have start a new site option and we have some of the templates available such as project, then we have portfolio, event and we have blank. So let's get started with a blank website. This is what it will look like. This is a complete blank website that we can create. First of all, let's actually change our, uh, you know, site title here. So let's say I'm creating a website for my marketing company. So I'll just add the name. And then we can also add the name right here, which is our homepage here. And this is our title. So I'll just add the title here again. So this is what it looks like. Now, what I will do is I will, of course, customize the website completely. You can see at this side of the screen, we have insert. In insert, we have a text box. We have images, embed drive, content block, where we will be able to add different contents. And then we have button, divider, spacer, map, document, slides, sheets, forms, and more. We have pages, so we have just a home page and then we will create more pages here and we have the themes. So the first thing that you need to do is select a theme for your website. So this is the default theme that we have. Then we have something like this, which is the Aristotle. Okay. Then we have Diplomat. Okay. This one looks pretty good. Then we have the vision. Let me quickly show you all of the themes that are available. And then we have the impression. So I will be going with this theme right here and now we can change the color. So if I do not want to go for the, uh, you know, blue color, I can change the colors. I'm going to go with the purple because this aligns with my brand. So now we have this, you know, theme uh, created. I'm just going to actually adjust it in the middle here. After that, we will move to pages. So we have a home page. At the bottom here, we have new page. Click on new page and give it a name. So for my marketing, you know, business, we have a home page, then we have an about page, and then we have a contact page. So I need three pages for my website. And that's what I will do. I'll create an about page, enter, then I will create a contact page. Now let's work on the home page first. You can see at the top, now it's showing me a menu with my three pages. So here we can also upload the logo and change our header type or the color and the background image as well. So I'll change the background image here. Click on change image and we can upload or select. So I'll just simply upload a footage that I have for my business. So this is the background image now. I'll move to the next section, which is going to be insert. So I will be inserting actually um, some text here. So I will add a text box here. After that, I will insert a content block, which is going to be an image and text, or we can go with two images. So let's go with this one. Let's add the next, uh, you know, block here. So this time I can add the social links. We can add a video, calendar, map, anything we want to. So what I want to do here is I want to add a button. So I will add the button here. We will give it a name and then we have to add a link. We can also add a link to any of the pages from our website. So I'll click on insert and a button will be added. We will customize this, um, but I'm just adding different uh, blocks right here. So then we have YouTube, we have a calendar, we have sites and documents, uh, but for now, I think this looks good. First, let's actually place it in the middle. Moving a, a you know, element is really easy. All you have to do is just, uh, you know, select it and you will be able to do so. We have this button type. So this is the filled one. I can go with outlined and then we have the text. So what I want to do is let's go with the filled. Okay, now I'll go up and I'll just add the text. Click here and write whatever you want to write. Here, I'll just add the introduction about my business. So I have added an example text right here. Moving on, we have this content where we have to add two images and text. Here we can add a title and then we can add some of the text here. So I have added the title for teams and services. Now, again, what I will do is I will just click on this plus button and it will allow me to add any uh, footage I want to. So I'll just click on select image and we will be able to add the images here. 
Once you have added the images, now we can customize it more. We can also add a footer. So you'll just click on the footer option. And in footer, we can add some text, for instance, the website. So you can just add right like this. So I'm going to quickly do that. We have our website like this. Um, similarly, I can add the social links here. So I'll click on the social links and we will add like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, YouTube, whatever social link you want to add. So I'll just scroll up now and we will customize a little bit. So for that, we will add some dividers. For instance, here, you select where you want to add the divider and it will be added like this. Now you can see it looks much better. We can also change the background color anytime we want to. So what I will do is we have this, you know, blank space here for our footer. So I'll change the footer background color. Click on the color and we can also select an image, but I'll go with this one here. So you can see this is what it looks like. After that, I can move to my about page. In my about page, I'll just simply go with this, which is the image and the text, because here uh, we have to enter a lot of text. So I will expand my, you know, image a little bit and add the text. We can also add some of the more options here, such as images. We can add our, uh, you know, videos from YouTube. Then we have a contact us. Now, here's the good thing about Google Sites. Because it's provided by Google, we're getting some of the options here. We have Google Sheets, forms and charts that we can embed very easily to our Google Sites. So what I like to do is I create a contact form within my Google Forms, which is very easy. I can create a form for free. And after that, all you need to do is you just click right here on uh, you select the form from here, click on insert and it's added right here to your page. So it's actually really easy to add a contact form to your website on Google Sites. So you can see this is what it looks like. You will also be getting, you can also now connect your domain. You will get your link. Here we have the share option. At the top, click on share and you will be able to invite team members to join you right here. And then we have publish right here. Click on publish and your website will be published uh, with your own web address, which is going to be websites.google.com. You can also select your custom domain, click on publish and your website will be published that you just created with Google Sites. With Google Sites, you can create a high quality landing pages and websites for free. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know everything that you wanted to know. And don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to. Also, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. The button will be given right down below. Go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video. So yeah, also leave a comment down below. What was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question.